This week we've been trying to get back into the swing of real life and sort of just play catch up with our to-do list that just seems to keep growing. I also started my new job this week. Last week was my only week off between jobs and it downpoured the entire time so I wasn't able to get much done in the garden like I'd hoped. I'm feeling the effects of neglecting it for a week. Towards the end of last week, my best friends made the 12 plus hour trip down to, from Michigan to visit us for my birthday weekend and we had such a lovely time. We spent a lot of time picking wild blackberries, wandering the farm, eating delicious food, and exploring Asheville and the nature of our surrounding area a bit. Oh, and also scheming up how to build them each house is on our farm so we can all live near each other again. On Sunday, we said goodbye to them and they made their way home. We are getting a late start on this video this week, but that's okay. I'm out in the garden and we need to harvest some dang green beans. There are so many that are ready. Elaine, my friend, just polished them off. That's not the right term. She, <laughs> she did not eat all of the green beans. She just like, she went through all of the bean plants when she was here and picked all of the ripe ones off and that was a few days ago so there are a ton more that are ready that's going to be our first project of the night Look at this, you guys, our edamame. It's getting so close to being ready. If, we, if I can get through these leaves to show you. We have so many on here and it's so fuzzy. It's literally like the fuzziest thing I've ever seen. You can feel it too. It's just furry at this point. But we have so much on all of these plants. I'm pretty excited about this. I love edamame so much. Those will be going in the freezer. I mean, we're gonna eat some fresh, but those are definitely gonna go in the freezer for later this year, and I'm probably gonna grow more too. Edamame is one of those things that I could eat like every day. We don't really do appetizers with meals. We just kind of do meals, but I could just straight up eat edamame for lunch and nothing else. <laughs> oh, guys, it's so hot outside. A little harvest. Pretty good harvest, honestly. Like, it's probably a pound at least. I'm happy with that. I can't even imagine what the harvests are gonna be like once we start getting our pole beans. They're still tall, they're still only like this tall, but they're growing, they're growing fast. I can't wait to have like, hopefully a covered tunnel or at least like a mostly covered tunnel and lots of beans. All right, you can probably see that these are like super crispy for the most part. So I'm gonna just rip these out, call the peas done for now.
about it, but I need to start like actually adding things to our compost pile from the garden. I guess I really haven't had much to throw into the compost pile because I'm not pulling stuff out of the garden until now. But that way we'll have a good stock of compost that's ready to be turned and whatnot by the time the chickens go out into their coop. I'm excited for them to be our little composters. gonna like be sad to pull off all of these pea plants but it looks so clean and I know that's a weird word to use for the garden because you know it's like literally dirt but doesn't that look so much cleaner <laughs> I love it and now there's room for all the beans and the cucumbers to climb the dead dry peas aren't gonna be blocking out their light just as a status update on those those are cucumbers in case you didn't know they're starting to get their true leaves. They're still small, but they also really need to be watered. So they're not growing as quickly as they probably would be if I had been keeping up on that. We just got a bunch of rain. This was all soggy, so I was trying to let that dissipate a little before I watered them. These ones are beans, and they're all getting really close to being able to climb. I have them sort of intermixed. So I have beans, cucumbers, beans, cucumbers, beans that are really crispy, cucumbers, and then beans all the way down. Same with this side. These ones are cucumbers, beans, and the same pattern. This side is beans for drying, and this side is cucumbers and beans that will be eaten fresh. All right, I think I am going to work on just pulling out dead random things that are bolted like this lettuce and start filling our compost pile and pick these piles up. a bunch of stuff that was had gone to seed and is dead and now I'm gonna deal with this you see this nice grassy hugo culture patch that we're growing yet again that's from the straw that I laid down so I'm gonna weed it and lay a different kind of straw down I already did this on part of the bed Ricky keeps digging in this um, so this part's done, but the rest of it is so bad. It's just like luscious grass. So I'm gonna try and deal with the rest of that right now.
I have decided to come out here on a little lunch break and I felt like I needed to do something that's like satisfying <laughs> out in the garden. So I'm gonna dig up some potatoes because they're ready to be dug up and it probably won't take me too long to do. Okay, before I head back inside, I'm gonna dump out the two grow bags that I have left with potatoes in them and see if we got anything. Figured I might as well. I just rinsed these ones off so you could see how colorful they are. These ones are so pretty. These ones are like bright pink. I don't remember what this kind is called, but I love them. I'd say this isn't bad for like half of the potato bed when it's solid clay. We have pulled up like a bunch already, honestly probably more than this amount. So I'm gonna say this is about half of what we've gotten. The grow bags, I was already pulling potatoes out of those too. So I'm happy with this. <clears throat> I'm gonna call our first attempt at growing potatoes a success. Okay, Ugh. it's pretty heavy. I'm not gonna weigh it. Oh gosh, I'm dropping them already. I'm not gonna weigh it right now. I'm gonna just go set them in the carport until I'm done working for the day. And then I'm gonna lay them out on some burlap or something to, to cure. <laughs> I'm a mess. <laughs> um, so that they can dry a little bit. Some of them are pretty small. I don't know if they're gonna be able to store very long, but we eat potatoes like crazy. They probably wouldn't last that long anyway because we're just gonna eat them. All right, my camera died, so we have to do it this way. These ones all look different, and I think these are the Americanas. This one is Gouda. I forgot to say, we got three Cuckoo Morans. We got three Americanas. This one's Tofu. This one is also an Americana, and this is Acorn. We got two Amber Stars, and these ones are just little yellow guys. I think they'll be white eventually. This is Peach. In case you were wondering, the, the Morans are Ricky just showed up. I gotta put the lid on. The Morans are pebbles, pesto, and petunia. This is our other Amber Star Clementine. They're still getting used to me holding them. Uh, three New Hampshires, and one of them is a rooster, hopefully. Hopefully just one of them. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember their names right now. All right, I just looked it up. That one was Hey Hey. This one is Raisin. 
We believe this one's the rooster. I think his wings are different than the others. Um, his name's Ego. The rest of the ones in here are Bielefelders. We were supposed to get two salmon favorels. Favorels? I don't know how to say it, but I think they were they didn't have any, so they subbed. And that's fine. They gave us an extra one. The Bielefelders names are bok choy, but like B-A-W-K, blossom, marmalade, mango, and then they gave us an extra one, so we don't have a name for them. So if you have any name suggestions, let me know. <laughs> And then, um, I didn't tell you the ducks' names. In case you're curious, I'll go through them really quick. The three fawn and white runner ducks that are girls are Edith, Eleanor, and Stella. Our Drake, he's also a fawn and white runner duck. His name is Bill Webster. <laughs> and then we have two others. One is the chocolate runner and her name is Becky. And then our black runner is Slonky Steve. And yes, she is a girl. <laughs> I'm not gonna explain these names because I can't. I, they just came to us. They obviously enjoy the outdoors so much. It makes me happy to see them. One of the ducklings just died in my hands. I don't know if it's something we did or if it was just gonna happen. I know that these things happen, but I am really sad. The other ones seem okay, but there is one that I'm still worried about because her and Becky, which is the one that passed away, the brown duckling, um, they kind of have the same like shyness and they're always laying down so I've been thinking like what if that's it was a niacin deficiency um but we were supplementing all that so I'm wondering if they're just not eating enough so I think we're gonna separate the ducklings from the chicks and get them duckling specific food and still supplement the brewer's yeast but hopefully if that's the case Steve, <laughs> um, the, the black duckling is the other one I'm a little bit worried about. So we're gonna get a separate set of pools and separate them and give them duckling specific food and hopefully with just the five of them in there she'll be able to get more food and hopefully this won't happen with her too because I don't know if I can handle this <laughs> because I am absolutely heartbroken right now. In the meantime, I just got them a little bowl of water filled with a bunch of peas because those are supposed to be high in niacin and then I also poured some nutritional yeast in there because that's supposed to have even more niacin in it than brewer's yeast. So cross your fingers and hope that she's okay too because I'm a little bit worried about her now. Um, the other possible issue that I think could be, could have been something with Becky is when she breathed, her nose kind of clicked, or her, her bill kind of clicked a little bit. So I was wondering if she had like some sort of respiratory issue, like if she had pneumonia or something like that. <sighs> I don't know, guys. It could have been nothing, too. It could have just been something that it happens. Try not to feel too guilty, but it's really hard.
As sad as we are about losing Becky, we're trying to move forward and just focus on stewarding these guys well that we still have and just giving them everything they could possibly need. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.